John Wesley was a proponent of what he called experimental religion, which in the 18th century vernacular referred to his conviction that true religion is the love of God experienced in the heart of the believer, just like a scientific experiment refers to the experience of some empirical truth at work in the world. In practice, this also led Wesley, even while holding firm that his own religious convictions were correct, to hold broad tolerance for those he disagreed with. This is the topic of his Sermon 38, A Caution Against Bigotry. I'm Rev. Ian Collier, and this is Two Minute Methodism. In this sermon, John Wesley takes as his scripture, Christ admonishing the disciples to not forbid someone who doesn't follow them from casting out demons in Jesus' name. Applying it to his own day, Wesley expands the definition of casting out devils from exorcism to include all repentance and a person's internal transformation from someone who sins to someone striving to act like Christ. As an aside, Wesley also paints a pretty bleak picture of humanity, those in his day deemed heathens and Christians alike all needing to be saved from the devils within them. Wesley writes that there could be any number of reasons that we consider someone casting out devils to be not following us. Not only someone that we don't personally know, but even someone who's of an opposing party or of a different theological opinion, or is even a member of another church, even a church who we disagree with so vehemently that we question their very scriptural fidelity. But Wesley writes, that insofar as we come across someone who, through their preaching or influence or work, others are becoming more like Jesus and are drawing near to God in faith, we should encourage them to keep doing so. Now, Wesley obviously doesn't think we should back down from what we believe or fail to correct others who we think are wrong. But as a movement founded on experimental religion, we would do best to always temper our opinions with one question. Are they succeeding in helping others become like Jesus?